The Swedish Institute of Space Physics Swedish, Institutet for Rymdvisik, IRF, is a Swedish government agency. The institute's primary task is to carry out basic research, education and associated observatory activities in space physics, space technology and atmospheric physics. Foundation The IRF was founded in 1957 and the first Kirana-designed satellite experiment was launched in 1968. The institute has about 100 employees and has its head office in Kirana. Other offices are situated in Umeå, Uppsala and Lund. IRF, originally the Kirana Geophysical Observatory, began as a department within the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. It has been a public research institute since 1973, under the auspices of the Swedish Ministry of Education and Culture. <laughs> Satellite experiments IRF participates in several international satellite projects. At present, data from satellite instruments are being analyzed to help us better comprehend the plasma physical processes in the solar wind and around comets and planets. For example, the Swedish Viking and Freha satellites, with equipment from IRF on board, have greatly increased our knowledge of the auroral processes in the Earth's magnetosphere, as have the microsatellites Astrid 1 and 2, launched in 1995 and 1998. IRF's own nano satellite Moonen at 6 kilograms 13 pounds, the smallest ever research satellite, was launched in 2000. An IRF-built instrument on board the Indian satellite Chandrayaan-1 launched 2008 collected data from the Moon and new techniques for making particle measurements in space were tested on the Swedish satellite mission Prisma launched 2010. IRF has instruments on board the following ongoing satellite projects. Cassini launched 1997, a combined NASA ESA European Space Agency mission to Saturn and its moon Titan. Cluster 2000 is an ESA project with four satellites in formation to study the Earth's magnetosphere. Mars Express 2003 is an ESA mission to study Mars. Rosetta 2004 is one of ESA's cornerstone projects and has been studying Comet 67P, Churyumov Gerasimenko since 2014. The mission is due to end in late September 2016. Venus Express 2005 is an ESA satellite to study Venus and completed its mission in December 2014. Swarm 2013 is an ESA project with three satellites to study the Earth's magnetic field. Forthcoming satellite missions include Bepicolombo to be launched in 2018, a combined JAXA European Space Agency mission to Mercury. Juice to be launched in 2022, a European Space Agency mission to Jupiter and its icy moons. Topic: Continuous measurements. Continuous measurements of the following are made at IRF: the magnetic field of the Earth, aurora, cosmic radio noise, ionospheric parameters. Topic: Ground-based auroral research. Experiments are conducted with research radars, such as those of the European Incoherent Scatter Scientific Association with transmitters in Trumsa and on Svalbard. These are used for example to study the processes which cause the aurora. 
The three-dimensional structure of the aurora is studied with ALIS Auroral Large Imaging System, a multi-station imaging system which uses tomographic reconstruction techniques, artificial intelligence and advanced IT. Atmospheric research Atmospheric research at IRF focuses on studies of ozone in the stratosphere, strato and mesospheric clouds, strato and mesospheric winds, coupling between different atmospheric layers, e.g., transport between troposphere and stratosphere, propagation of mechanical waves, radar, optical methods, sounding rockets and balloons are used for atmospheric studies. Continuous measurements are made of atmospheric trace gases including ozone atmospheric winds infrasonic waves topic see also moonen swedish national space agency Swedish Space Corporation ESRANGE European Space Agency Government agencies in Sweden External links Swedish Institute of Space Physics, official site <laughs>